In this video, we're going to see different ways you can cut and trim and slice your objects in Blender using sculpt mode and using object mode and using edit mode. So first thing first, let's uh, start from the beginning. So we're going to go step by step. And if you are more expert, you can jump ahead. If you are not so expert, you're a beginner, you having troubles following, you can check the Blender video course and also check the 3D digital sculpting. 3D character sculpting video course that we have in the channel. So first thing we have here the box and uh, we can start to cut using this object. So uh, the first thing we can do is do booleans. Booleans it's uh, a really easy method to cut your objects so or to uh, just slice off and uh, do similar operation and we already dedicated other video guys to this topic so let's go here quickly. So you need to go to add-on, you need to uh, add this uh, add-on right here which is called bool tool and it's really easy to use otherwise you need to go to the modifier and here you'll find the boolean modifier uh, right here so uh, these are a pretty similar operation i'm gonna start with this and then we're gonna get to the more uh, complex so uh, first we need another object that we want to slice or that we want to use as a cutting object so i'm gonna use a sphere and I'm gonna push this up here. And, and now let's uh, select the, the sphere first if you wanna use the Boolean modifier. So let's go here, add modifier and look for the Boolean modifier right here. So when you select this, then you need to pick the other object and you need to choose which operation you wanna do. Now, if you wanna slice off, if you wanna trim if you want to get rid of one part you probably want to use difference otherwise you can unite you can merge you can intersect and leave only the part that is in common and so on but again this is explained in another video so i'm going to focus on the cutting tools and uh, difference or, or just by subtracting parts so i'm going to click on the picker i'm going to click on the cube and that's it now it's not yet visible and this is what I don't really like about the Boolean modifier. So all we need to do is to go here and do apply. And then we need to get rid of the cube. So we either move it around or we just delete it with the X key. And there you go. So you can see that part of that sphere has been cut off by the, the cube. So let's go back. Control Z. There you go. Now the other way is to use the Boolean in the bool tool which I prefer. So if I go to edit, you have bool tool and these are better because you can also use the brush boolean. And again, these are explained in other videos, but let's go quickly to do the difference. So to do this, we just need to select first the cutting object. And then second, we hold shift. Second, we're going to select the, the object that's going to stay. So the, the sphere in this case, and then we can go and do, well, slice is a little bit different. So if difference is just going to get rid of that, slice is going to leave the two paths separated so you can you know move around so it's, it's a little bit different and you can also test intersect and the others now with the brush boolean it's uh, pretty similar but the only difference is that there you go let's do difference the only difference is in the brush boolean is that we can manipulate sorry just the the cutting object and we can see the results right away so we can move it around and see what happens if I change the position or the rotation or the scale or of this uh, box that is trimming out the part. Then we finish, we do apply brush, we can then eliminate this and that's it. We'll leave, we're left with the cut sphere. Now, uh, this is for the, the trimming um, and slicing tools in object mode. Now let's see here, let's delete this and let's add again the cube, standard cube, and let's go into edit mode. Now in edit mode, we have the loop cut, which is going to cut, of course, in a loop. And again, we dedicated other videos to, to all of these. And then we have the knife and the bisect. Bisect, you just click and drag a line and it's going to cut through the object like that. It's going to be... Uh, really precise and then we have the knife so with the knife you can be like more free and cut all these sides however you want and then you can close the loop yourself and then press enter and then you have the cut right there but this is not finished 
Now, when you use the, the knife, you need to, or the or others of these, you need to go and then select the faces that you don't need and press X and delete the faces. And then you're left with a open surface, with an open poly surface. So to make this a solid, we need to select the borders and we need to fill that gap, to fill that hole. So right click and do new face from edge. And this is gonna fill that. Now, in some cases, let me just go back and use the, the bisect. So if, if I'm gonna get cut through like that with the bisect, I can already go down here and say, okay, I wanna get rid of this uh, bottom part or the upper part. And then I can fill right away like that. So it's an easier uh, job to cut and slice off parts of your objects. And this is about the edit mode. Now let's go to sculpt mode. And well, if we want to go into sculpt mode, let's uh, change object. Let's um, use again a sphere. Okay. And let's go into the skull mode. Now we need to go here on the left side. We, we need to scroll down with, these are all the sculpting tools. Again, these are explained in the 3D character design video course and also in other video guides in the channel. And we can use the line project, which is really similar to the bisect. So it's, I'm gonna click and drag and you can see there is a shadowy part where there is like a gradient. Now that, that is the side that is gonna be cut off like that. So you can continue to create more cuts until you're happy. And you can see it looks more like something that is being sculpted. It's more organic than before. It's not uh, perfect. It does have some, you know, parts right there that are not perfectly cut. And also we can use remesh to increase the number of polygons really quickly. So let's do a remesh and it's gonna also fix a little bit the, the results. And okay, now probably there are too many. And you can also fix a little bit the, the results with a smooth right there, especially in the cutting parts. There you go. Now other tools that we can use, again, are down here near the, the, the line project, which is the easiest one. And this is, these are the lasso trim and the box trim. Now this works just like uh, a Boolean. So if I select, for example, the box trim, I'm gonna click and drag. You can see it will just cut off the part where, where it's gonna be inside the box. And it also creating different colors. Why? Those are called face sets. And again, we're gonna talk about face sets in another video and also you will find video lessons where we already talk about face sets and masks. And these are um, used usually when you do the, the sculpt, the sculpting um, works in, uh, in Blender. So you can see every time I cut, it's gonna just create a new color. So this is box train. And then we have the lasso trim, which is pretty similar. So it's just gonna click and drag and it's gonna create a cut like that. And again, if this is too edgy, you can use the, the smooth and just smooth out some of these uh, faces. And if it's doing something strange, just go here, remesh again. And now it's gonna work a little bit better. Now you can see again, this is this looks more organic than the others because uh, when you use sculpting usually you want to do something more organic okay and then you can use again face sets or you can just you know get rid of the of the face set so you can just do face set from visible it's going to unify all the all the face sets so you won't see them anymore and let's go down again so also uh, this this works like boolean so if i Select the, the, the lasso trim, for example, and go here to object. You can change this from difference to union. So if I create here something like that, it's going to unite to the rest. So if I do a remesh again, you can see everything is uh, perfectly unite and merge together. And then you have join, which is gonna join, but without actually merging. So if you do this, it's not gonna be merged together. If we switch to wireframe, you can see the difference. So these two are not merged, these two are. But anyway, if you do a remesh, it's gonna take everything and it's gonna merge everything together. 
and then you can just uh, use the the smooth and just fix everything if you want. So these are just uh, tools that uh, you can use uh, for cutting, but also you can use them for merging and in general to do booleans, depending on what you need to do. So, and this will be all for this uh, video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. If you wanna support us, if you wanna thank us, you can join the channel as a supporter and check our other video courses and video guides and all the material that we have in the channel. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next video guide.